Now we can go ahead and solve our problem. So our first step is to use our heat flow equation which says that the temperature resistance over the sum of the resistances is equal to the heat flow. So we've already determined that we have two resistances. We have a resistance due to the pipe and a resistance due to the bulk fluid or, or due to the air. So for the pipe we just used our thermal resistance equation for a cylinder. For the convective resistance we just used our equation 1 over HA where in this case A is the the outer surface area of the cylinder given by 2 pi r0 times the length of the cylinder. So now that we have our resistance equations to find the total resistance we simply just add these two resistances together because we know that they're in series. Now to finish our heat flow equation, we just need the difference in temperature between the bulk fluid and the inner surface, which is just T0 or TO minus TI. And with that, we have a complete equation for the magnitude of the heat flow through the pipe. So now we're asked to find the minimum thermal resistance um, with respect to the thickness of the insulation. So from Calc 1 we need to remember that any time we need to find the minimum or maximum of some function, we should start by taking the derivative of that function. So here we have a function of the resistance um, in terms of R0 as well as Ri. Now if we hold Ri constant and vary the outer thickness to change the thickness, we can determine the derivative of R with respect to the outer diameter. So by taking the derivative of R with respect to the outer diameter, we end up with this equation here. So now to find any minimums or maximums in R, we need, to we need to set this derivative equal to zero. So if we do this and solve for R0, or R0, we end up that R0 is equal to K over H. We now need to take the second derivative to figure out whether or not this value for R0, K over H, is a minimum or a maximum. So once we take our second derivative and plug in our value of R0 at K over H, we end up with this positive value here. And because it's positive, we know that at this point, our function of R is concave upwards. So we know that this must be a minimum. So we have proved that the thermal resistance has a minimum value at R0, or R outer, is equal to K over H. For the last part of the problem, we can calculate the radius for minimum thermal resistance using a heat transfer coefficient of 50 watts per meter squared Kelvin and a thermal conductivity of the insulation as 0.2 watts per meter Kelvin. And we end up with an outer radius or a thickness of 4 millimeters.